Dub Turbo 1.5. In this video, what I'll get you guys to do is understand the drum machine and how to use it and all the functions within. We'll do this very quickly. So click on your pencil tool, layer number one, click, hold, and drag. Don't just click, but click, hold, and drag until you see both parts of the bar, both halves being filled in. Click on edit, you'll bring up your drum machine. Okay, this is very simple to use even if it does look intimidating to those using it for your first time. Right here is your keyboard triggers, okay, one through zero on your keyboard. And I'm on beatbox number one right now. If I click on one, I just clicked on this kick. If I clicked on two, sorry, if I hit two on my keyboard, it hits not the, the thing. So I can pretty much preview what I want it to sound like before I lay it. Or... Or I can take my pencil tool, and if you already know how to use canvases and matrixes, then it's very easy to use this. This number one here through ten represents the sounds. So if I want this kick to go on my very first sound within the bar, I lay it right there. And to illustrate that, I'm going to turn my metronome on. All right, I'm at two bars. I'm going to loop it. Make sure it does loop both bars. Yeah, it does. And I'm going to press play, and it'll only have one sound on the very first click. And you'll hear the other eight clicks, or seven clicks, totaling eight afterwards. So I'll count with you two to make sure you understand. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four. Right? So each one of those clicks is that first part of the fade. Boom, 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 boom. If we want to make a house beat, we'd simply lay it right on those, just like the click sound. So it's just a nice repetitive boom. If you want to make breakbeat, we'd slow down the tempo and we'd line up the key, the beats, sorry, to an actual break pattern. And I'll make a bunch of these and I'll upload a bunch of .dub project files to the members area so you guys can download and open them, pre-made templates and pre-made beats from each genre so you understand how the patterns within each one work. So for this first one, just follow along and pause the video if you need to. Draw in exactly what I draw in. I'll draw in a nice little reggae beat. Okay, so a very simple two-bar reggae beat with a beatbox pattern. <laughs> Sounds a little funny. Let's turn the metronome off and lower this down by double-clicking on it and going to like 95. Pressing enter. And now... Great. So I can change the kits up on the fly if I don't like that kit and want to see what it sounds like with beatbox 2. Click on beatbox 2 and listen. If something's too loud in there, like that hi-hat is just screaming through my speakers, it's already been turned down, but I changed kits, so this has become void. I actually have to redraw wherever I want it to be, and now that tss -tss should be a little less powerful. Let's bring it actually right down there. Nice. Okay, so I like that. Actually, let's keep that. Um, what we'll do is on layer 2, pencil tool, same thing. Click, hold, and drag both bars, not just one. Don't just single click like that. Okay, but drag in both bars on layer two, and then click on edit. Pull up your drum machine again. Um, the volumes that I've already explained, these are just straight forward for the most part. Your metronome on and off is universal from here to here. Your tempo is universal from here to here. One thing I didn't show, I'll go back up to 120 <coughs> BPM because it's kind of easy to work with that 120 when it comes to what I'm about to show you. And that is the keyboard triggers are recordable. So if I click on record, let this go through once, and on the second loop, tap in what I want the beat to sound like. It'll lay the notes. It might, they might not be laid perfectly because the quantizing will never be perfect, but it does quantize it, and then afterwards you can just move the notes around very easily to where you want them to, to be. So let's do this. I'm going to use the keyboard that I type on. I'll turn that off for a second. Let's get something going here. I'm already on that with layer one. Let's change kits. We'll go down to, say, house two. Nice and powerful. Cool. Do something like that. All right, and I'm using one and three here on my keyboard. Let's see how it goes. Two, three, four, five, eight. OK, 
Okay, I didn't lay them perfectly, but that's okay. I can just go in here now and boom, 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 boom. I laid them for the most part pretty good. Now I'll put this back down to 92, whatever it was at before. I think it was 92. So now we have two layers of drums going over each other, and they sound really nice. All the pads and all the sounds have been recorded with a little bit of an ad lib and a tweak in the left ear or the right. So it's nice and stereo imaged once you combine a bunch of the sounds together. Check it out. I think I have one too many kicks going on here. Yes, I did. And too many? Yep, yeah, there we go. Now we're good. Okay, so what else I can do is say I do want some other sounds in there. And just draw them in. There. Say so I want to turn it down a little bit too. And now we have a... If I want to change that kit up, I can do the same thing. We're currently on house two. Just go to house three, let's say. See how that sounds. Way too loud with this hi hat here. Let's go right down on that. Not bad. Maybe some jungle. It's very repetitive, so it might not sound proper with the jungle kits, but you get the idea. You can very easily overlap layers of drums. And other beat makers out there will give you one sound per track so your key your uh, kick would be on layer one your snare would be on layer two your hi-hat on layer three and so on and so forth we have the drum kits specifically designed to work with 10 sounds per drum kit and you can make all 16 of these tracks into drums it might be mud by then you don't want to have 16 track or 16 layers of drum kits overlapping each other unless they're very specifically sequenced but um that, that that's too much but you can't so realistically, it's 160 beats and sounds you can have. It's a 160 pad beat machine, if you will. Uh, and you can import your own sounds too. So it's unlimited possibilities as far as what you can do with just the beat machine alone. Let's go back in here because there's a lot more happening than just beats. And I want to go over some of them. Let's scroll down to female vocals. We brought in some wicked talent and had them do really nice. Me, 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 me. Bust it. Can you feel me? Really nice samples, and these work really well with pretty much any genre. We've made a nice diversified uh, portfolio of all the sounds. There's five straight, and then four that have been auto-tuned and voxed and stuff. They sound dope. I love you, LMAO, Mr. DJ, make my day, murder, murder, murder them. I'm going to actually pull up a track we made with some of these. Pull up two tracks really quickly that we made with some of these samples check them out they sound great that's the mp3 let me get the raw there we go So you can make pretty much full tracks and wicked, wicked beats with just using the beat machine. On top of that, we have nice fills. We'll go back to the boxes real quick just to show you guys a few more. Because some of them are just too good to pass up real quick. And I want to go because I know I feel you. I feel you burning. I got five, 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 five. on me. I see you murder them. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, uh. Baby, mama. Ooh, no, my baby. Okay, so that'll wrap up this real quick. We'll move on to the keyboards in the next video.